Stripes is not only about the money. And trust me, money is important. Stop playing yourself. You're playing yourself, motherfucker. Money is important. Dating gonna pay themselves. <laughs> ching ching. The mula. It's him. You better go tell it. wish. Restaurant money. Transport money. Clothes money. Date money. Money. A girl is expensive. Wax money. Money. Ain't no such thing as money is not important in a relationship. It is dead as important. <laughs> important. <laughs> Hey guys, you're okay, Z Bok again with another love video. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another banger. It's still vaginal weekend, okay? It's a Saturday, and today we're gonna be solving our second dilemma. Or should I say, I'll be solving two of them because I don't think I'm gonna have enough time to shoot a video tomorrow. So I'm just gonna include both dilemmas that I was supposed to solve today and tomorrow but the biggest one we have today is hi tati you seem like a very vocal person you are open and always upfront about what you like even a stranger can notice that because you always talk about it how do you tell somebody that you're getting to know obviously somebody you just met that you like freaky stuff you also like being penetrated in the butt <laughs> Before we get into write this one, huh? I've had a friend of mine tell me that it actually feels really good to be, you know, whenever you, you like when someone giving you a head and then they're like doing it in the butt, like they're penetrating you from behind. In the butt, not from behind like dogs and no, in the butt, like number two, sim two. I'm trying to use the, the right language. YouTube, YouTube is yeah in the pot so i guess you are one of them who actually enjoys getting it from number two what i can actually say to you vibes is that go always do what you like always make sure somebody knows up front what you are into for me i always people who i always fuck with or date i'm always up front with them for instance, I've met people who don't like the whole choking and spanking thing. I've met people who don't like the whole chasing thing because I, I can be a bit difficult, you know? Knowing that I want what you want, but I can still be complicated and make things complicated for you, you understand? So it's a chase and get game. I can all play hard to get, but they always know the signs. They know what to look at. I can speak shit and she'll still know what I want and go for what I want instead of what I'm saying, you understand? Make sure your people know you. Like you said, someone you just met, this is a very good thing. Be upfront about it. I don't know how you're going to initiate the whole topic, like how you're going to tell them, but you can just... Start off with slowly, but one thing I need to let you know is that you need to be honest because it's also a matter of your satisfaction. Your happiness comes first. Sex can be a biggest deal breaker. You don't want to end up having or doing things that you're not comfortable with or don't like. And there's no such thing as not learning. People love to learn. If the reasons are good enough for them to learn, she will learn. She will understand. She will go with the vibe. She will try it. You know, she will try it. So, slowly but surely, I mean, I've met somebody who didn't even know shit about choking and everything, and right now, I don't even gotta ask for it, even if it's a joking matter, like, baby always ready to grab the throat, okay? It is what it is, like, man, you just need to, if she's the right one, she will understand. Just initiate it, you can start by, you know, talking about it, like, oh, I would love to experiment, or... Or you can be like, what turns you on? What does it for you? Obviously, she'll break it down. And I like being this. And I'm like, yeah, well, I I like this. Then you're like, I like this. And I like this. And like, and then you, bam, throw the hint. I also like it this. Obviously, if she, she's like matured enough, she's going to ask not to just jump and be like, okay, cool, this is scary. Now. Nah. She's going to ask like, oh, does it feel good? Have you tried it before? How does it feel? You know, she should be keen on wanting to know. Mature people want to learn. Mature people want to learn. If sis doesn't want to learn, she ain't the one. Period. Cut. We have number two. I feel like this was the actually shortest and simplest issue I had to solve. I mean, preferences are very simple. I respect other people's preferences. It's not about you. It's about the other party. Okay. Leave. 
Tu me fais du Tu me fais du Tu me fais du Tu me fais du So, secondly, this was supposed to be the topic of the day. Hi, Tati. I really need your help. How do you tell your girlfriend that you're not enjoying the sex without seeing it in words? When I met her, well, I thought things would change. I mean, we just met and we were getting to know each other. But sexually, I'm not satisfied. There are plenty of other things I would like my girlfriend to do to me. But she seems to be keen on the simple issues. It's the same sex position, the same sex type, the same thing. Regularly, it's becoming boring for me. Do I leave or do we work it out? What should I do? There is... I always, I always say this. Ain't no motherfucker ain't ever gonna leave me because I'm a boring ass. Guys, sexual intercourse is two ways you might be into the boring shit yes then go find people who are into the boring things like when we talk about types guys i always say this and people are like nah types is not there there's nothing you guys always talk about having a type having a type because you just trying to be fancy no types is not only about the money and trust me money is important Stop playing yourself. You playing yourself, motherfucker. Money is important. They think gonna pay themselves. <laughs> ching ching the mula. It's hell. You better not tell it. The wish. Restaurant money. Transport money. Clothes money. Date money. Money. A girl is expensive. Wax money. Money. Ain't no such thing as money is not important in a relationship. It is dead as important. <laughs> important. <laughs> so would we when we talk about preferences and we also talk about types that you need to focus on those before you make this I flirt with your people before you solidarize things. You need to know if this motherfucker is a boring or is a left. And then if they're poor rubbish. Shall you left? Gone. Why do you guys like wasting your time? Like, you giving a motherfucker a chance just simply because what? They're cute. <laughs> These things need to balance. You need to be cute. Have the money. And also like what I like. Yeah, don't say I'm asking for too much. There ain't no such thing as asking for too much. If a motherfucker tells you you're asking for too much, she just ain't enough. She never was enough. <laughs> Sis, sit your baby down. Tell Obey what you want, what you like, how you like it. I am going to upload a video down below. I solved another similar situation. It's just that the, the words weren't put in the same way. But the similar situation, Obey work doesn't know. I call Guys, sex is important. I don't, I don't know. I don't know which language you want me to put it in your bag. Sex is important, and you need to be satisfied. It's just not for the fun. Yes, the fun is there when you get the, the grabbing the shit and everything. That's where the fun is. Adrenaline rush. I enjoy because I can And it's not only about that part. The importance is the part where how do you get me there? You understand? That's why there's foreplay, there's when you ever do like being whipped and everything. Talk to your people. Now when your people, like I'm really tired of females coming to me and telling me no. I'll be like, eh, eh, eh. no man. Many people. Are you dumb or what? We're living in the 21st century. Upgrade down. There's nothing more embarrassing than your partner coming to you and telling you, you know, I feel like our sex is boring. Yes, sex. Yes. Now, fuck. Death. God. Death. Iba. Iba. Yeah. You need to try out new things. I feel like, and usually it's always the studs that are comfortable. 
it's always the masculine lesbians that are comfortable. And the men that are comfortable. Nigga, as much as you want your woman to wear a lingerie and look hard for you, wax that kitty for you, put it on your face, you need to also be improving. Improve some things in your life, man. Make her also want to stay. Make her interested. It's two way. It's not only the females who need to put more effort. It's not only the feminine females who need to put more effort into looking sexy, riding women on top, bending over the nails and everything, calling you daddy. No, you can also call her mama. Nigga, you can also buy them new perfumes, smell motherfucking good, buy the candles, pop up with some flowers, buy her lingerie. It's good, it's sexy, it's romantic. Today, we are in the stylist scene, you come back here, make her bend over like she never did before, tomorrow come back acting like an animal. It's kind of cute. What? Always, always. Who did we offend? Hi, man. Upgrade, Danny. Upgrade, upgrade. Great, upgrade. This is the last time I am actually talking about it. Is my mother gets hold of this book? Dead. This book is a lot of shit. You. I really, I really, really need to start using my my my, my PC as well. Happy. Mm. I I solve people's problems here. Yeah. I'm holding people's families now. They call me the fix. Fix Okay, bye-bye. Guys, I'm not doing too damn much, but yeah. Baby girl, talk to your woman. If a baby does not want to upgrade it, I can and that's it's up to you all in all. You either gonna stay for the boring sake or you can always cheat. Yeah. But I don't advise that one, but you can always do that. Or you can always leave. The choice is yours. Goodbye.